I think we might be on the verge of a correction. On April 2nd, when Rick Santorum was still a candidate for president, uh, he said this crazy, untrue thing about the University of California. I was just reading something last night uh, from the state of California, and at the California universities, they're, they're in several, I think it's seven or eight of the, of the California uh, system of universities, don't even teach an American history course. It's not even available to be taught. That is not true. Not true at all. Every university in the University of California system teaches American history. Everyone, even the one that's just a medical school, they teach American history classes. Three weeks ago, while Rick Santorum was still in the race, his senior strategist came on this show and said that if, in fact, Mr. Santorum had been totally wrong about that, and he was, in fact, totally 100 percent wrong about that, certainly if he had been wrong, Mr. Santorum would apologize for that. I would guess if that somebody who he felt was credible gave him information that he thought was credible and he felt that he misspoke, I think he would be one of the first people, the person to say, I was wrong and I'm going to tell you. I All mean, right. that, that's the type of person he is. I will follow up with you on that because right. I think these are easy ones. Okay. Now, Rick Santorum still has not apologized, but uh, he has now started apologizing for some other stuff. The snob one, because... Uh, I misread his comment where I, I, I thought he said everybody should go to college and it was it was what I had read was someone's interpretation of what it, and, and I just use that as a fact and I and, and I and it was factually incorrect. So that's the one I feel bad. About. That was Rick Santorum on CNN last night saying that he feels bad uh, for having said this. President Obama once said, said he wants everybody in America to go to college. What a snob. Rick Santorum now says he feels bad about that because, in fact, what Barack Obama was saying was that everybody needs access to some post-high school something, whether it's two-year college or four-year college or vocational or technical training, something, uh, because that's what our economy requires. President Obama says this on the campaign trail all the time. The unemployment rate for people with high school education or less is way worse than the unemployment rate for people who have more education than that. Everybody needs access to higher education. Uh, Rick Santorum ran with that on on the campaign trail forever, like it was a huge scandal. I understand why Barack Obama wants to send every kid to college. Oh, yeah. Because they're, they're, they're indoctrination, oh, indoctrination bills. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, the indoctrination. Oh, yeah. As of last night, uh, Rick Santorum is sorry for calling the president a snob uh, for wanting people to have access to higher education. Uh, he still has not corrected what he said about American history not being taught in the University of California. Um, and I'm guessing that he still believes that college is where you get liberally indoctrinated. Republican politics this year around the issue of college, uh, about going to college, about colleges being suspect places, uh, in particular about how we pay for college in this country. Republican thinking on these issues is usually out of the spotlight in politics, but this week the spotlight has been on it. Uh, the president has done a three-state college tour this week, and Democrats are really focusing on trying to win younger voters. And in part because of that, they have really gleefully been shining a spotlight on what Republicans think now about the issue of college. One Republican congresswoman said she had very little tolerance for people who tell me they graduate with debt because there's no reason for that. I'm, 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 just, I'm, just, I'm just quoting here. I'm just quoting. She said, uh, she said, students who rack up student loan debt are just sitting on their butts having opportunity dumped in your lap. I mean, I, I, I'm reading it here, so I, I didn't make this up. Now, can you imagine saying something like that? I love the girl standing behind the president going, Virginia Fox, Virginia Fox, the whole time. And she's right. She knew exactly who he was talking about. Obama, uh, President Obama speaking yesterday in North Carolina, quoting Virginia Fox, a North Carolina Republican congresswoman. Uh, here was the president today at the University of Iowa talking about a congressman from the state next door, uh, Todd Aiken of Missouri. You've got one member of Congress who compared these student loans, I'm not kidding here, to a stage three cancer of socialism. Stage three cancer? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know where to start. What do you mean? 
What are you talking about? Come on. Just when you think you've heard it all in Washington, somebody comes up with a new way to go off the deep end. President, the Democrats broadly have been aggressively on offense against Republicans on the issue of going to college and student loans all week. And today on this issue, they won. We can't price the middle class out of a college education. That went, not, we can't do it. Especially when most new jobs in America will require more than a high school diploma. Congress needs to act right now to prevent interest rates on federal student loans from sh shooting up and shaking you down. That's where you come in. I've got to tell you, the Republicans who run the House of Representatives have not yet said whether or not they'll stop your rates from doubling. Helping more young people afford college should be at the forefront of America's agenda, and it shouldn't be a Republican or Democratic issue. This is an American issue. That was President Obama at the University of Iowa today, his third college speech in two days. Democrats have been on offense against Republicans on the issue of education and on the issue of student loans in particular all this week. While the president has been doing speeches like this at colleges, pitching his policies and going after Republicans, the Democratic-leaning American Bridge Pack put out a highlight reel of Mitt Romney talking about college issues on the campaign trail. school and they're doing away with unsubsidized loans for grad students which makes it almost impossible to pay off our debts have a house have a car have a family before we retire what are you going to do for people like me uh you know i wish i could tell you that there's a place to find to find really cheap money or free money and we could pay for everyone's education that's just not going to happen uh, I, I would like to have a uh, more competition between schools. I hope you shopped around. Not everybody's going to go to college, of course. Uh, the college is not right for everybody. After a week of ads like that and bully pulpit pressure from the president personally on college campuses, House Republicans and Mitt Romney have done a 180 on the issue of whether or not student loan rates should double this summer. The Republican position all year long, the position of the Paul Ryan budget, uh, is that student loan rates would be allowed to double this summer, but the pressure from the other side appears to have worked. First Mitt Romney and now congressional Republicans have caved on this issue. House Republicans say they are now planning to vote on Friday on the Democrats' plan to keep student loan rates where they are.